Okay, so first of all, this video contains a flashing image. In the spirit of Halloween, I decided to remake the Flash game that gave me nightmares as a kid. To make it yourself, all you need is the free game engine game maker and a spooky scary image. I'll link the one I used in the comments. And I'm not posting it online, but I'm not stopping you either, so please use your discretion. And if you like quick game tutorials or full game dev speedruns, please give this a like and sub. Okay, so this is how to make a fake out jump scare game in 16 minutes. Okay. I am not proud of this one. I am going to make a jump scare fake out game that scared me as a kid. It was like this test your coordination game. It was a fake maze that you had to move through that I got super into because I liked proving myself as a kid. Eventually this ghost lady would jump out and scare you and I had nightmares about it. So I'm going to rebuild it so I can regain the power of the night. Also just because it would make a good video, I think. Happy Halloween. So the only thing I'll need outside of Game Maker for this is this jump scare image that I made and kind of manipulated a little bit, put it on Imgur. So you can go ahead and grab that. If you are going to make this, please use your discretion. This is for educational purposes, right? Don't don't be showing this one to grandma. OK, so I'm going to open up Game Maker, select new game, blank game, give it a project name and start the time as soon as I click. Let's go. So the first thing is to come into the room. And I think, yeah, I want to rename it right off the bat. We'll call this room menu. And let's change the size to be the size of the image, which is 800 by 1200. That'll make sure it covers the entire screen. We just want to come into background and change the color as well. Yeah, maybe a little darker. OK, cool. So yeah, with all of that done, we can go ahead and duplicate this room. We're going to call this room main and just for testing purposes, we want to double click in here and move room main to the top so that it starts in there. Eventually we'll go back and build a menu for this game just to make it a little bit more realistic. First, we're going to build the uh, test your coordination game, the wrapper, the fake game that it looks like it's kind of wrapped in. So we'll start making sprites. We'll create sprite, sprite block. This will be the bottom block, the maze that the player walks through. Let's set, that, let's set that to 50 by 50, edit image, take the paint bucket, make it kind of dark. That'll be good. Now we'll create another sprite. This will be the player sprite. And for the size, let's say 25 by 25, just so it's inset a little bit. And let's make it a nice unassuming blue. Yeah, no one will suspect that. So we'll come to create sprite from images, select this image. And I also have a sound, so I'm going to add that here, create sound. I made this sound using my microphone. I will not give it to you. I mean, that's so good. How can I just give that away? So I think before we build some objects, let's also make some fonts. So create font. I'll call this font title. I'm going to use Roboto. It's a free font on Google Fonts. You can find it just by Googling Google Fonts. How easy is that? We'll duplicate this. Just make one a little smaller. Call it font header. Yeah, just make that a little smaller. OK, yeah, I think we're ready to start making objects. Two and a half minutes in, good on time. Create object, as always, first controller object, no sprite. Secondly, we want to make an object for the blocks. Next, an object for the player. It's not right. Sprite player. Hmm. Not sure what I did there. Looks like I accidentally made a sprite. So. We also need one for the jump scare. We don't need one, but this will just make it easier. OK, so I think that's all we need for the main room. Let's make sure we're open on room main. And change our grid size 50 by 50. So now I can, well, First, let's make sure object controller is the first thing in the room. We want to make sure that loads before anything else. 
Now I'll select object block and holding down alt, I'm just going to kind of draw out a maze. And this will be the test your coordination game that the jump scare is wrapped in. Now, if it was a real test your coordination game, it would get harder as it went along. So I want to make sure it looks as legitimate as possible, especially because we're putting so much time into some other parts of it. So yeah, that's pretty resource intensive, but that'll work for our purposes. Let's take the grid away. We can move object to player just right there in the middle. Okay. Now that we have that, we need to add some programming into the objects. So we'll come into the create event of object block, set a depth to like seven, and then make sure that in object players create event, that depth is higher. So depth equals six. And then here we also want to give it some movement, right? So we can say key down left. <clears throat> if X is greater than zero, then X minus minus. Although I think we want it to move a little bit faster than that. So how about X minus equals three? Now, key right is just kind of the opposite of this, right? So key down right. So this is if X is less than room width, then x plus equals 3. Same thing for up and down, key down, up. That's kind of similar to left, so we can copy and paste from left and say if y is greater than 0, then y minus equals 3. Same thing for key down, key down, down it is similar to key down right, right? If y is less than room height, then y plus equals 3. So this gives us basic movement. Now I can move them out, right? We can move around, but it still kind of comes off. So we can fix that by creating a step event here and say if collision rectangle. So this is x, y, and then it's 25. So x plus 25, y plus 25. I think it's false and false. What else do you want? x1, x2. Oh, I forgot the object. So the object is object block. That's what it's interacting with. And then false and false are uh, whether or not we want it to be precise, it'll move faster without that, and whether or not we want to use uh, this pl object player, which we do. And we want to say if if not, right? So if there is no collision between object block and this object, then nothing happens, right? <laughs> Wait. If there is not collision between this and that, then for now, we'll just say room restart. Okay, confused myself. So now, if I move off, it's a little, little off there, huh? One way we could get around that is by coming into sprite block, modifying our collision mask manual, just kind of taking it in a little. That should change how far. Yeah, that that's a little better. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay. Too small. What time is it? Okay. So we've got like, we're just a little bit over half. Just a little, a little bit in more. Let's try that. Okay. That's as good as we're getting. Okay. 
So with all of that set up, let's make some let's make some text. So create object. Call this object text title, no sprite. In the add event, we're gonna say draw. And this is well. First, we want to draw text at the X and Y. That's why we created this object. And we want it to say, test your coordination. Now, we also want to set the font. And the color. Perfect. Okay, so now we can come into room menu and just make sure we have instances selected. And then that text will start from here, right? We can even duplicate this. I think we want two different headers. So we'll call that header one. Come in here. Say press space to start. And then we can have a key up event for a space and say room, go to room main. So we can now make the menu open this up, our starting room, start it. Oh, that's, that's way too small, isn't it? Okay. What's wrong with this? <laughs> no idea what that's about. Okay. So I just changed it and changed it back and it, it seems to have done this. So instead it needs to be smaller basically. So we can make this 45 and this 30. And it looks like a small bug with Game Maker. How it just popped up small like that. Okay, there we go. We have test your coordination, right? We just need to come back to room menu. Yeah, we didn't place this object text header one. So we put that in there. There we go. So now when we press space, it opens this. We can go along. Now we just want to copy this room menu, duplicate. Call this room game over. And now in object text header one. Ooh, yeah, I think we just duplicate this. This is for time's sake. Call this header two. Come into header two. I'm just making up something random. You, you could do this any way you want, but this is just kind of so you can play it once to make it look real. So then we can come back here to object player instead of room restart, room go to. Uh room game over there we go and then in room game over so under this because we still wanted to say press space to start right well actually maybe let's drag this down and then come in with header two so now 12 minutes in and we have the full wins we have a full little fake game here see so you do that fool people into thinking that's how it goes now we just got to put in the jump scare. So we'll come into object controller, create, actually just really quickly. Now I think we're good. Okay. So in this create event, we need a timer. And we'll up this later, but just for testing, let's make it like that. And then I think, nah, I don't need to make that a global. So just jump scare on equals false. We'll set that to a Boolean. Then we will want it to stagger for a little bit. So stagger timer equals 20. 
stagger on equals false. Okay. So now in the step event, if jump scare timer is greater than zero, jump scare timer minus minus, else jump scare on equals true. If jump scare on equals equals true. First thing we want to do is create that thing, the jump scare object, and we just want this to be zero, zero, instances layer. We also want it to play the audio, right? So what is it? Audio play sound. Audio play sound. Oh man, we're so close on time. Okay. now. Oh, sound jump scare. I th um, one is the priority and false. We don't want it to loop. Okay, almost 15 minutes. I think we can at least finish this in 20. So we want to make sure that the audio isn't already playing. So that's the function. And then we just want to make sure we set this like that, right? So if it's not playing, Play this. Play the sound. Okay. And then also we can set stagger on equals true. If stagger on equals equals true. If stagger timer is greater than zero. Kind of the same thing we did up there. Stagger timer minus minus else room restart okay what's wrong uh object controller event step at line two line two Ooh. jump scare timer minus minus okay so i'm gonna call time as soon as the first jump scare happens I don't like that. Yeah, that legitimately scared me. I mean, I jumped a little bit, like, because, you know, content and stuff, but that, that legitimately got that. I, I don't like that. I forgot to press the time. I tried to press the button and I jumped too hard. OK, so, yeah, that is 16 under 16 and a half minutes. And that's how you build this game that scared me as a kid. That's probably how long it took them took them to build it originally. That's that's kind of sad. So yeah, uh, this is for educational purposes. Use your discretion and uh, hope you had fun. Happy Halloween.